Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Khan, I'm host of Intellect Digest and in this video, I'm going to give you my review of the Infocus M810, which has been just launched at a price point of 15,000 rupees. At 15,000, this phone is a very premium looking device and comes with top notch specifications as well as features. I'm going to tell you all that you need to know before you make a purchase decision. Let's get started. the design of the phone and in terms of design this phone really impressed me a lot it uses metal and glass there is a, a brushed matte finished frame all around the side this is a unibody phone and comes with glass at front as well as back at back it has this checkered design which looks very nice and premium this one is gold in color and on the front it has a 5.5 inch full high definition display which is fairly vivid. On top of the phone, there is a secondary mic hole for noise cancellation. On the right hand side of the phone, there are two trays, uh, one for SIM card and other for micro SD card. It uses a, a micro SIM card. On the bottom, there is a standard charging port, uh, a 3.5 mm audio port and primary microphone hole. Below the display, there are three touch capacitive buttons and below the buttons, there is a front firing speaker. So there is no bottom firing speaker here, rather there is a front firing speaker. On the rear, there is a 13 megapixel camera which comes with a dual tone LED flash for uh, smoother tones when it comes to using flash. And on the front, there's a five megapixel front facing camera. On the left hand side, there are two antenna bands, one on top, one on the bottom. And in the middle, you will find a slight bump which houses the volume rocker, which is fully built in metal and feels very nice and tactile. And on top of it, there is a round uh, power or wake up button, which reminds me of the Xperia series. In terms of design and build, this phone is really impressive and is very sturdy and solid. And besides all that, it is at around seven millimeters thickness. Talking about the display quality, the display colors are very vivid. The display quality is very impressive and it has got some nice viewing angles as well as color production. You can see the display quality on your screen right now. When it comes to music playback quality, this is not the most impressive phones that I have seen so far. The loudness of music on the speaker phone is average at best, but it is fairly clear. When you listen to music using the earphone jacks, it is better though. Although it appears that it has dual front firing speakers, but it does not. The top one is only an earpiece mesh, while the speaker which works on speaker phone and audio is only the bottom firing speaker. Talking about the camera quality, it gets a 13 megapixel rear shooter, which does a very good job. It creates very nice bokehs and gives you good quality of pictures. I have tried taking pictures even against the light and they come out to be really fine. I'm leaving some samples right on your screen here. You can have a look at some of the pictures that I have taken with it. The front facing camera is also fairly capable and the selfies that we took with this are wide angle and have a lot of details and clarity. So when it comes to cameras, this phone does not disappoint us. Talking about performance, benchmarks and specification, this phone is part of the Snapdragon 801 chipset, has 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB internal memory. We tested on Antutu and we got a score of 41,000 plus, which is impressive and in line with what other devices on uh, Snapdragon 801 chipset are scoring. It scores very close to Samsung Galaxy S5 and Xiaomi Mi 4 as per the Antutu. In terms of gaming, this phone does not disappoint us either. With a powerful chipset, 2 GB of RAM and enough memory to support heavy games, it can play heaviest of games with ease. The internet browsing experience on the Infocus M810 is also fairly good. It provides a large uh, viewing area, nice colors and the display quality complements uh, what it has to offer. The scrolling is smooth and there is no problem or stutter when it comes to browsing the internet. The signal reception and call quality is also decent. The clarity of call is good, but the audio loudness is not very high. Also on speaker phones, the loudness of the call is not very high. However, dual microphones, one on top and one on bottom, it does produce good sound clarity because it uses active noise cancellation. When it comes to USB OTG support, it does support USB OTG and also supports moving applications to SD card, which means that you can keep your multimedia on an external pen drive and keep your games, etc. installed on an SD card. There is also a notification LED provided near the buttons at the bottom, which is also very handy when it comes to checking missed notifications or missed calls on your phone. Talking about the software experience, InFocus uses its own skin and in this case it is running on top of Android Lollipop and the skin overall is fairly smooth and performs lag free on this uh, phone. The hardware is also fairly powerful and the software is light enough, but there are some applications which you will find that have been installed extra 
you may or may not need them so there is some level of blotware however it is not very heavy when it comes to blotware this phone is powered by a 2600 milliamp battery which for a size of this phone and uh, the specification that it features looks to be slightly low we are yet to test the battery extensively and we'll do a follow-up video on the battery life of infocus m810 so make sure you stay tuned by pressing the subscribe button and receive our future videos talking about the value for money factor at 15,000 rupees a 4g lte capable phone which comes with a brilliant display assorted design snap is a very good value for money Something that comes close to this is Xiaomi Mi 4 but the 15,000 rupees 16 GB variant does not come with 4G. You can also consider options like the Zenfone 2 and OnePlus One which also come in a 15 to 20,000 rupees price range. But this so far looks to be one of the best options in the 15,000 rupees price segment with a very good build quality that does not fail to impress anyone. So summing up my review, this phone is fairly sorted at 15,000 rupees comes with 4G LTE, a beautiful display, audio quality is not that great, gaming specification, performance etc is great, the display quality is very good and value for money is very high. This is all we have on this video, we hope you enjoyed watching it, if you did don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for latest video updates make sure you hit the red subscribe button. I hope to see you on my next video, this is your host Rohit Khurana signing off, thanks for watching.